Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is a dead case of Toshiba motherboard, and this is Inventec, as you can see. Firstly, I have to tell you guys, um, there is nobody to handle camera for me. First, and secondly, um, I will try to make this video in the two languages I've been building my team, my channel, on so that anybody that speaks with any of these two languages will um, benefit from this video. So, if you should have case of dead motherboard what are those things to check for basically you have to go through the impedance of all the coils and tla um bios blah 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 so as per impedance level i can guarantee you this board is fine based on impedance level so what i'll do next is i'll plug in my charger and let's see what's going on with this board Michael, you got to on your pay dead case ni case mother body and mother she get dead case kina on what i'm going to call you check impudence and won't call you i'm going check the bios now i'm check the cl every other thing the need can check impudence i'm going confirm based on impudence level body or clear so i'm going to match next thing i'm going to number so now let me power after giving power this is the consumption i'm having as you can see based on the experience in only my song pay um what is 19 to generate 3.3 OT generate all those one are just experience she get but as you can see now we can one can still say okay most likely 19 is not present 100 percent 3.3 or 90 percent 3.3 and 5 volts is not present but that that does not really matter if you check with your meter you will confirm whatever is going on on the board so next i'm a barrier there is nobody to handle the camera please you have to bear with me so now I've bypassed this port because there is no charging port. I've bypassed it. So, as you can see, we all know this is the charging port. This is the first fuse. This is the first diode. And this one is serving as first MOSFET in this motherboard. And this is the switching MOSFET, which is N channel, according to the schematic. This is the schematic here 6050A2. Is it? 60 so let me just go straight to the point and let's check can you own she body if you go at your work everybody shall i like on pay first fuse diode mosfet and clr in the bypass we bring by just going through the and um, to the top MOSFET of any PWM section and as you can see I have 19 volt to me pay 19 is present on my motherboard so the next thing is to go for the LDO voltages and now voltage to my as you can see LDO no jade so it tell you about jade in a standby if it's in boy if it's one of those places to man serve or no really what are the list of those places standby uh, LDO is going those one will be covered in my um, theory classes but it's a basic stuff everybody should know so now let's go for the next signal here we have 3.3 volt always fine okay LDO is present 3.3 always is present as well and this is the 5 volt coil at 5 volt coil i have nothing there at 5 volt coil because if voltage you cook on at first i've insulated this 5 volt coil to see if this voltage will generate and after insulating still the same thing the voltage was not generating after insulating yeah the voltage was, let me show you guys i told you you know learn to my the camera so you have to bear with me this is as you can see this is the part where i can insulate it the jumper part as you can see so this is the coil this is the coil this is the capacitor this is the jumper part i've insulated it and i've joined it back still voltage was not generating but the simple secret of this video or let me say the clue of this video is the ac in i mean the ac okay signal is not proper that was why it was not generating and if my ac ac okay is not generating how is my 19 volt switching does that mean my mosfet as short so let's confirm no man no man oh man shell and i mean picking mosfet is short so 19 comma what direct without any permission but let's check together this is my diode range and let's check the impedance of the MOSFET. Here, as you can see, the impedance is high. Only the impedance in here, fine. So, how come to 19 dB? So, let me just go straight to the points. 
more detail will be discussed later in this video or i will explain in another video with my um students but let me just hit this point straightly how your board can be affected with some signals you are thinking is not um related to some sections so now let's go back to the voltage level let's check what are the input voltage of the switching ic which is the stamp um charging ic this is the charging ic here i would have gone under the microscope to show you guys this is the charging ic here as you can see this is the charging ic here as you can see this is the charging ic so i don't know if you guys can see my screen from here let me try and see okay if you have to manage like this so next thing you have to control and share any charging ic here charging ic here last day this is the charging ic here and what are the important pins here number one this is pin num this pin number three oh my need dc in which is the adapter voltage 19 volts and numbers number 19 oh my name um adapter confirmation voltage which is 1.68 volt around 1.6 volt oh only lay and be by 1.6 volts more and be by on the feed pin number 19 so the next thing ele my release ac okay with pin number 10 this bar to cross here o mean pay active low signal ni time ti o ba low lo ma activate so tin ba ki charger bomb we expect ti low voltage ko wan bi ba yi so ti battery ba wan be high voltage dem wan bi ba yi so in kota ma she next ni pe a ma check ni awon pin ni gege ba se ti ka pin number 3 to ma je adapter voltage pin number 19 to ma je adapter confirmation voltage 1.6 ati pin number 10 to ma je 0 but if you want any a be microscope bo Unfortunately, I can't go under the microscope now, so I have to check with this my small eyes. My small eyes. <laughs> Sorry. So let's check together what voltages I'm getting on those pins. Firstly, pin number what? Pin number three. One, two, three. This is my pin number three here. Yeah. I have okay. Let me find the bottom. Oh, sorry. I have. 19.6 volts at pin number three 19.6 this is pin number three 19.6 volts so what's the next thing to check i will check adapter confirmation pin which is pin number three this is uh, one two three four five six six by six ic so six plus six twelve plus six eighteen so the first pin at this part will be adapter confirmation 1.68 exactly as given in the schematic you all know how to calculate that voltage divider so the next thing now is to go for the ACOK, which is pin number 10. So pin number 10, 6, right? 7, 8, 9, 10. This is my pin number 10 here. On pin number 10, I have 3.2 volts. Under normal circumstances, some board they work with 3. Point, uh, higher logic, which is 3 points. Some board they work with lower logic, which is 0 volts. On a number of you will believe okay, AC okay has nothing to do with generation of um three volt and five volt signal. But at times when you are working on board, you just have to make sure you correct everything that needs to be correct, regardless of the section you are. So now let me let me play a little game here. As you can see, the consumption here, and what is the clue here? Three, I don't have three volt, I don't have five volt, but I have five um three volt. That is the main problem. I have 3 volts and I don't have 5 volts, which is not supposed to be. So now, based on this based on this architecture, 3 volts and 5 volts should be present. Now, what I will do is, I will, I will ground that ACOK pin just to communicate with. See, all these things, they are electronics and um, there is limit to their level of smartness. They are communicating based on voltage. The IO, because this signal is also going to IO, all they need from this particular point to confirm that it is charger is that when I have low logic here, that is what they need to confirm that okay. If at any time I'm getting low logic here, it means adapter is present. Now I'm getting three volt. This thing, this motherboard will be sensing it as I'm getting um um what's it called battery battery voltage and it will be trying to power in the process of battery of which you powering with battery and powering with adapter there are two different processes i mean two different sequence she gets so now 
That is the issue. Because when you are saying that you will be able to do it, you communicate in a voltage language. That's why you are going to be able to do it. You will be able to do it. You will be able to do it. And this particular pin number 10 is in the JAC. Pin is in the JAC. Based on my very base on the JAC. But you will be able to do it. Tabi o ni ash lo ke bo sheri. O min pe lo logic lo ma activate. An long pe ni lo. Excuse me. An long pe ni active lo signal. So to ba ri lo logic lo ma fi confirm pe charger lo wole. To ba ri aya logic to je 3.33 volt an abo. Within 3.33 volt 2.8 2.9. O ma ma bilif pe adapter an air on battery ni efin power o un. Che de ma pe te ba fe power process to ma agba. I mean timing to ma to ma ka. O ya to ni o ri battery. Timing to maka, lo recharge an, o ya to. So, in kanta manche yin sin, ni wikpe, mou fè gran di pin ni yen, la ti wong kanto manche le. So, if I follow this pin, wè goun bè li lò yon da microscope, pin ni yen lò goun, on lò a fi di en chane yi, on lò a fi di en chane yi, ti lò lò di gba debe kou lè hof. So, in kanto manche le, ni sin, ni wikpe, mou ma gran di esi yo ke. So, a ma a wong kanto manche le. So, mouti fi pika e se kon si grand, mouti fè kon kon si e si yo ke pin. An tche te yi, mi bat mouti si e si yo ke pin. Ki lo che le yi, o mou 0.4. So, yè ka tche ki vote ji 5 vote, yo jade te le. E wo, vote ji yon ti jade. 3 vote, nou e de ste wo. So, after grounding that e si yo ke pin, the 5 vote that was not coming before is now present. So, now, this 5 vote was not present as a result of no confirmation of adapter voltage, which is the ACOK. Like confirmation that adapter is present. I'll do this again. And before that, let's see. I'm pressing power. As you can see, I'm pressing power. Nothing is happening. The board is not turning on. The fan is not spinning. Nothing is happening on the board. So now let me ground this and let's see what will happen. Where is the pin? Where is it? Okay, yeah, yeah. This is the pin here. Yeah. I have to be careful because I don't want to short my board. So now I've ground the ACOK pin. You guys can see it, but all I'm doing is just to ground the ACOK pin. This is it here. I'm, I just have to be careful so that I don't bridge my board. I've ground the ACOK pin as you can see. And this is the reading. Now, after grounding the ACOK pin, three, um, 5 volt is now present. So now let me power my board and let's see. As you can see, the board has powered. But no fluctuation because no RAM automatically there will be no display. As you can see, the fan is spinning. You see, the fan is spinning as you can see. So let me repower. You can see the fan is spinning. So let me place RAM and let's see if my DC will fluctuate to signify my display. So what if we RAM makes it buy? And the next thing is. Um, okay, let me show the pin again. Let me first power and let's see. You see, nothing. So now let me show the pin again. I've shot the pin and this it was taking 99 there about before, right? So now you can see fluctuation is fine now, which means my display is now present. Let me check my voltages at all coil 1.5 is present, 1.0 present. Which coil is this? Sorry. 1.1 for CPU present. 1.1 present. Sorry. There is always plot and 1.05 for PCH present. This one is for graphics then. For RAM, this is present. This is for battery. I don't need that. So as you can see, my board is now working. Let me see. That's the essence of this. Let me see if I have any keyboard. Around. As you can see, it's now stable, but the point is, if I should, well, I'll turn it off and let's see what will happen. If I should turn it, turn it off and turn it on, it will go back to its previous state again. So, unless, until I correct that part, do I have any USB? Okay. Sorry. I don't have the screen with me, so that cannot be possible. Now, let me... Let me retest this for display. 
Me see you multi ton wala. The same thing. So until Timbato to provide ACOK signal and phone. Here's my picker. Okay. <clears throat> Now the SUK is present. I powered my board. Let me show you guys here. As you can see, this is the indicator here. Let me caps lock. This should be the stage where he's writing that name. So sometimes the caps lock will not respond, but immediately it's scale through to begin to respond, as you can see. Display the word by waiting caps lock. Show you see. Show you see. Waiting caps lock. So the main clue on the, in this video now is to because we don't have a C O K to be proper. Five volt signal was not coming. So thank you for watching. There is more of practical video for my students. Trust me, I have over, over um hundred unique practical videos i've arranged so that will be given to only students sorry and i will upload some on youtube thank you thank you everybody thank you